please advise our youth how to use the social media in an Islamic way and what is prohibited in it especially WhatsApp and Facebook social media it has a huge reach the most popular among the social media it is the Facebook it has more than 2.5 billion monthly active users after that it is YouTube which has 2 billion monthly active users so social media it has a huge reach and social media per se it is not haram there are various social media platforms for example YouTube Facebook Twitter Instagram etc social media can be used for the good purpose or can be used for the bad purpose for example a knife it can be used for cutting fruits whereas the same knife can be used for killing human beings it depends upon how you use the knife similarly social media it depends upon how you use it but unfortunately majority of the people they use social media for non beneficial things rather than beneficial things majority of the people they use social media for non productive things rather than productive things whenever we are using social media we should see to it that we do not break any rule of the sharia it should be within the purviews of the islamic sharia and we should not break any rule of the sharia this is very important on youtube you have the advertisements and more than 95% of these advertisements they have something that is haram they either have women without hijab or they have music even facebook it has things that are haram women without hijab music obscenity nudity etc all these things they are available on facebook women dressed in inappropriate clothes so we should abstain from watching all of this so whenever we are using social media we should see to it that it is within the purviews of the islamic sharia and that we do not break the rules of the islamic sharia and as you asked in your question regarding whatsapp whatsapp it is a messaging application which is a substitute for the telephone email fax etc and it is more used for halal rather than haram it is used for the haram things for example chatting with the na mahram chatting with people of the opposite gender also it is used for dating so it is used for things that are haram but whenever we are using it we should see to it that we abstain from these things that are haram and we have several channels on youtube in fact majority of the channels they involve in something that is haram we have the example of t series which is the most popular youtube channel it has no less than 123 billion views not million billion but it is used for the haram majority of the things on this channel they involve in things that are haram women without hijab music women dressed inappropriately they have huge popularity and if we use it for propagating the message of islam inshallah we will get reward for this we can have daily videos we can have monthly videos we can have weekly videos because social media it has a huge reach so we should use it for our benefit and we should use it for conveying the message of islam to the non muslims to those who are unaware of it and every person who embraces islam after hearing your lectures or after seeing any of your videos you will get huge rewards for this whatever good deeds that person does you will get a share of his rewards so it is a very good opportunity for you to use the social media for conveying the message of islam whether it be youtube whether it be facebook even whatsapp can be used for conveying the message of islam you can share good islamic videos among your friends among your colleagues on groups etc 
So in this way, we can very well use the social media for our benefit and use it for conveying the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it.